Alright guys, so before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. Alright guys, so welcome back once again. So I'm sitting here with my friend. Uh, he is a Java developer living in Germany for last one year. Uh, in fact, um, during pandemic or right before pandemic, you got your job, right? Yeah, right, yeah. right in the second wave. So second wave, yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, today we are here to learn how was your journey uh, mm -hmm. all the way from India to uh, Germany and uh, what difficulties did you face, um, what really got you the job, yeah. you know, the amount of interviews you had to go through, what questions were asked. So we will get into the very nitty gritties. I want you to be as technical as possible. Mm -hmm. This video is not for me, this is for people who are watching us. So make sure that you go into the minute details, yeah. please, okay? Before we get kick-started, why don't you go ahead and give us your introduction first. So, uh, uh, so here in Berlin, I'm working as a Java developer, which is uh, uh, a quantitative developer, which is mostly into finance and stuff. So yeah, I was working in India for about uh, four and a half years uh, into quantitative finance and um, I was working back in Pune and I landed a job here again in finance. But um, yeah, I'll say that there's a lot of difference between how do you approach an Indian company and how do you approach a German company and the way the process, the interviews, yeah, they are they were quite uh, different. In the space of Java, mm -hmm. what are your skill sets? So uh, it depends uh, on what the company uh, exactly requires. So I work in Spring and uh, the Java stack is mostly Spring Beans and MySQL and stuff. but. Again, it depends on what the company uh, is about, how the, their tech stack is. So it will be, I'll, I'll, I'll recommend that whenever you have a telephonic interview, whenever the recruiter asks you, like, what are your questions? Before any technical interview, you should definitely know about what exactly is there, what are you getting into, and if you're comfortable with it, uh, first of all, because then uh, if, if it is something like a 180 degree turn for you, it's, it's quite difficult and then basically you have to be honest about what experience you had. So previously I worked on uh, uh, .NET as well as Java and I was comfortable with both the technologies and yeah, here it is more about uh, Java. So. Let's start talking about the job which you already have mm -hmm. and the interview process for this job. Yeah. Uh, how many rounds you had for this job? So I had about five rounds, uh, okay. uh, initial screening, and then you had a, a technical interview, then you had a coding round, which was more of an assignment, uh, because I'm used to uh, uh, hearing people say that, okay, there was a coding round with some pressure, you have that time limit, you have to solve a problem, you need to focus on the test cases, you pass the test cases and it's clear. For me, uh, here it was more like a project, so they gave me one week time, uh, I was sent a, a problem statement which I'm supposed to keep confidential uh, but I, I was supposed to submit uh, my code on their uh, uh, portal and then some senior developer from their side would definitely go through the code and there was again a code review round which was with one on one with the developer and then we walked through the code wherein I explained what and what was my logic, how was I thinking when I uh, approached a problem. I, I felt this was quite different from what I had uh, previously seen. Uh, even though there is a chance that people might uh, copy paste uh, the, the code and you know get help from somebody else but then again this coding interview the the code review will make sure that it's definitely your code they they would definitely make sure about it. let's go slow so your yeah. first round was with whom okay so um I, let's go back a bit i would say uh, i found how did i find the job so I, I would say uh, uh, I got into contact with the recruiter uh, through LinkedIn. So I would definitely recommend that you optimize your profile on LinkedIn. Don't just brag about all the stuff you want to and just cram, you know, buzzwords into your profile. Be specific, be sure about that your experience is uh, relevant to the field. And then you can use some of the features like they have this uh, job alerts and stuff when you can say, okay, I have this skill and I'm looking for a job in this particular domain. So there you, you narrow down your search and then it's, it also helps the recruiter to filter you out better because then you have le relevant experience of XYZ and then that's what they are looking for. And uh, coming back to your question, the first uh, uh, round was more like a screening round uh, with the development head here in Berlin. 
and it was more about what i do how is my resume built what did i do for past four and a half years and how, do i fit or not i mean he gave me some inputs from their company how the culture is what sorts of uh, 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 events they have what kind of uh, work they do and then it was uh, uh, coming to some consensus that am i a right match for them because obviously they, they don't want to waste their time they don't want to wa- I, i don't want to waste my time so it's more like you know you come to some consensus that okay we are a suitable match and then let's go ahead with the next rounds right right so it's like a relationship yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely right right um so second round what was about so after clearing my screening round uh, i got a mail from there them that um, i'll get a technical interview which was with again a senior developer and a, a, a principal developer so uh, here okay so the naming convention here is quite different they have Uh, uh some levels of uh, software development where they they are like so you are just a software developer then after 4 years you are senior then you are uh, senior senior developer and then a principal which is like 15 years of experience or so so i was uh, interviewed by two of them and it was more about you know general object oriented programming do you know uh, what are solid principles how would you tackle some uh, uh, simple problems in java it was more about uh, knowing that you are uh, technically enough for the job and it was not like they, they were not grilling at all they were quite constructive about it and that there was some part of uh, finance as well included okay, okay. yeah okay. and third round was the and then um, yeah so after the technical interview i myself asked them if there is a coding round and they were like okay sure th- th- there is a coding round so it was more like a project so they, they they gave me an assignment which is very very close to what they are working right now uh, and it it's like a mini system a part of the uh, system which i'm working right now and then they gave me a week's time and uh, uh, due to corona things got delayed but yeah this this was the final technical interview at at say so the third round was more or less about the project and stuff and then after that the, there was a code review round yeah definitely so i had a one on one with the uh, again with the principal developer who would go through the code i would have to explain my logic why did i write this why did i not comment it and i mean definitely he had a lot of constructive uh, criticism as well so i'll not say definitely i made like 100% perfect code nobody is perfect i mean it all it depends on the style which you write but yeah he he gave me a, a really nice feedback so that was it and yeah then they uh, made the offer and oh after yeah. that they just said like yeah so the after, after the coding round i i get an email after one week or so that uh, we accept uh, 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 so you have passed all the tests from our side so we would like to give you an offer and uh, would you like to accept it and then we move on to the negotiation and stuff so okay. yeah okay and you said like just to recap you mm-hmm. said you have four and a half years of experience yeah that time i did yeah okay okay if you are a recruitment manager right mm-hmm. now what if you were to design the coding challenge mm-hmm. what would you design give us an example an example would be like uh, design a system which is continuously pumping out some random number for example and then you have to store the random number and you i, I would add some specific logic to store these numbers and then give me an output after like after 10000 ticks or so something like that which would firstly test your multi threading skills in java which is one of the critical points or which is always a bottleneck everywhere you go then uh, secondly it would be more about deadlock if if you understand deadlock do you really understand how synchronization works and stuff so yeah i i would give something like that and then again performance was one of the very critical part because in our industry performance is everything like you your calculations should be within milliseconds so you are not supposed to use any library or so you have to basically boil down Uh, to the very uh, uh, you know lower level of uh, codes i would say so okay that makes all the difference a lot of people maybe interest like yeah. salary part right? um, yeah today not going to lie even in india people are getting paid very good yeah definitely okay. where the cost of living is not that high uh, in fact here in germany depends where you stay correct uh, if the city has a higher spending then the salary is of course going to be more 
uh, Berlin being somewhere in between, yeah. in compared to other cities like Hamburg, Frankfurt, Munich, Stuttgart, and elsewhere. Yeah. Right. Give us a range what you're getting. I don't want to know exact salary mm -hmm. of yours. From this, somewhere from this to this, I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I want to know that. Let's say you are just graduated, you are a junior developer. Let's say you're studying in uh, Germany itself, or be it in India. Uh, with zero to two years of experience, you might expect somewhere around 50, 50 to 60k max. 60 being on the higher side, uh, I'd say. And uh, since they have these uh, slabs kind of a thing, so here it's it, it's it's not like uh, you have in US. It's not definitely based on the company or your skill set. It's more about experience here. So if you are somewhere, uh, someone with an experience about two to four years or maybe five years or so, you are still considered as an experienced developer, and then you might expect around uh, around 65 to 70k, 60 to 70k, I'd say. 70 being very very like on the higher side. Your company is a good company and doing pretty well. Uh, after that, it's more about uh, 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 senior developers or principal developers, which are having some six to eight years of experience. They would definitely get somewhere around 80k. I'm talking this about Berlin. This is not uh, uh, generalized through uh, uh, all over Germany because cost of living in Berlin is uh, quite low compared to some cities like Munich, Frankfurt, where you might easily add 15 to 10k uh, to what I've just uh, said. And then somewhere around, if you are applying for some VP or product owner position, it would be definitely somewhere north of 90k. There is another thing which uh, generally comes up in your mind that salary is so itna hai. So it's it's on paper you are earning this. How much would I get in hand? Because Germany is quite infamous for having very high tax rates. So you can uh, go to the website called Bruto Netto. Yeah, yeah. So uh, th there is a website which will, if you just plug in your numbers. Uh, of your salary, select your tax class, it will definitely give you exact amount which you would have. I'd say my, my amount was exact what I saw there and what I'm receiving right now. So I, I would also recommend you guys to check out. How much tax are you paying? Yeah. So I don't remember, but it's a lot, quite a lot. You said 40%. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they have something like zero to nine thousand euro. It's uh, tax free, and then it it's, it's it's prorated. So it's not a specific number, but it's around including the social security and stuff. It's around forty percent. So yeah. Progressive model what they follow. The yeah. more salary, more you pay. Uh, yeah. My last question. Mm -hmm. What's your last thought for all those people who are watching us? They come from Java uh, as a Java developer. What do you have to say to them? From someone who already has a job here in Germany lived here for the last one year yeah please so i would definitely say uh, uh, technical skills are one of the one of the important points but they are not all of it there are a lot of companies who would uh, take you just because you have the right attitude and you just you know it's like a puzzle you just have to be the missing piece in uh, any organization so i would definitely recommend you guys to go through some java courses if you are not really uh, deep into technical stuff and uh, uh, brush up your skills. You have a lots of website, a lot of websites where you can solve your coding problems and stuff. Apart from technical skills, you also need to be presentable. You need to have a proper resume, not just cram stuff in your resume and try to over portray yourself. You you don't want to oversell yourself. Definitely, you have to be humble, and that's what people want. They want people to be honest and. Yeah, then it will take you anywhere you, you like. Uh, having said that, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.